So um, it being 7.32, we're going to open the meeting. And for all those involved, this meeting is being recorded. And um, I suppose we could, uh, uh, let me just, uh, we could start with some minutes if that's okay. Um, we do not have Ryan, so um, Chris, do you have the um, motions there? Or yeah, I do. Hang on a second. If you would do some minutes for me, please. Let me let me just get there. Okay. Take your time. Motions, motions, motions. Here we go. Oh, by the way, I did read, uh, listen to the, uh, the YouTube video of October the 5th and read all the documentation. So, okay, so the, the motions for the minutes are not there. So I can just make the motions. No, no, yeah, you just, yeah, you just make the motions. Please move, move uh, to the minutes of October 5th, 2021. Okay, can I second. get a second? Okay, and a second by Dave. Um, Okay, any changes or omissions? Hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Um, let the record show one, two, three, four people. <laughs> four, four people you in gotta, favor, and Brian is not with us this evening. Do you got to do a roll call, Warren? Because we're on oh, Zoom. Yeah, oh, yeah, I keep forgetting that. Sorry. Okay, I will, I will. Uh, I'll start with you, Jeremiah. Aye. Are you aye, Chris? Aye. Dave? Aye. And I'm, I'm aye as well, so... There you go, four in favor. Mr. Okay. Pierce. Yes, please. I move that we accept the minutes of October 19th, 2021 as written. I second that as well. Okay, Dave, second that. And uh, how say you, Jeremiah? Aye. And Chris? Aye. And Dave? Aye. And myself, aye as well. Okay. Um, do we need to, we should probably wait until eight o'clock to do the motions to withdraw. Yes. Time, time. You gotta wait to time certain, right? The time certain, right. So, uh, um, so let's, uh, since we have, uh, since we have uh, Dave J. Grandy here, let's, let's go, let's do, I think you're probably here for the uh, Shea Lane uh, runoff issue there. Uh, so can you give us, you know, because we, I have people coming up to me in the store asking me about it, and I and I'm like, I, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I don't. I'm not, I felt like I was out of the loop here as far as what was going on there. <laughs> so, but, um, Dave, if you could, if you could give us a, some kind of a, uh, at least an overview of what's happened there. I could, and um, Danielle, can I share my screen because I have the plans with me. Either that, or you yes. can bring up the plans. You should be able to share. All right, I'll give this a try because I have the plans and I think they'll they'll help out. They'll be illustrative. Can everybody see the plans? The plan set? We we can yes. now. Can okay. yes. Perfect. So this is this is the, the subdivision plan that was accepted. Um, and in particular, I want to focus. Um, we've been getting a lot of feedback from from um, both detention ponds, actually. This one here is this is Gloria back in the top left mm -hmm. corner. And uh, there's a, a large de de detention pond uh, uh, in this area. Uh, it actually seems to be functioning um, well, considering uh, that we are still under construction and, and these, these basins tend to get silted up. Um, and uh, I think that there was some confusion. There are two four bays in this particular pond. <sighs> God bless you. The four you. bays are used to settle out the, um, the silts. And um, they don't, so as a result, as they're, they're doing their pre-treatment, um, the bottom of those four bays get a little clogged. So they tend to retain water a little bit longer. But the, the large portion of that basin is draining and um, and is, is, is draining reasonably well. I think, you know, before we um, wind up this subdivision, I think we need to go in, make sure it's scraped, cleaned, and, and, um, and uh, then revegetated uh, because it's, it's 
clogged up some from all of the silts on the site. This site does have a lot of, um, a oops. Hello, we lose somebody? Uh, Dave, he uh, looks like he might be having a uh, uh, issue with his, uh, oh, maybe got him back with his internet connection. I can hear him clicking. I'm sorry, can, can you, there we go. can you hear me? Now we can, yeah. now we yeah, can, we can <laughs> Okay, so this is the other basin we're focused in a little bit on. And if you actually uh, take a look at the, the overflow for this basin, it called for a level spreader back in this area. Can everybody see mm -hmm. that? Yeah, now this, yeah. these two homes down in this area set a set in probably the lowest point uh, um, in that whole neighborhood. And so what's happening right now is, well, the way it was designed is there's supposed to be a level spreader here. And as if you can, if you can think about this in terms of there used to be um, a large watershed and the water would naturally drain off. And that's what we call a sheet flow condition. Mm -hmm. And we want to emulate that sheet flow. So what they did is they made this, they designed this level spreader in this area. The problem is, is it, that level spreader is not in, installed so that it dissipates energy coming out of the pond. If you can imagine it, the water that runs out of the pond then sits and then overflows evenly all at one elevation to emulate that sheet flow that exists today. What's happened is they extended this and made it a swill and delivered it down to this particular area here, which, which is the low spot. So I think that, that I would recommend that there be some remediation done here. And I never want to overstep as, as your representative, as your eyes and ears, it's up to us not to design something, but to insist that uh, the developer or builder um, do their due diligence and, and give us- um, And correct you know, any problems us, that come up. Right. So, so what's and, and, and the way I see it is we've approved the level spreader and we don't have a level spreader here right now. What we have is we've got a, a swale that delivers the water down here. So mm -hmm. by taking this off at a higher elevation and letting it sheet flow along this entire border here in this area where my cursor is, then we'll have a little bit more natural flow over the existing uh, uh, topography rather than delivering a point source down to the, to the bottom here. Um, because they, in, in my opinion, and, and by the way, at least three times this fall, when we've had significant rainstorms, I've I've taken it upon myself to stop by, uh, and make sure that I'm I'm seeing this in uh, in adverse conditions. So that's that's my thought. I, I think we need to ask uh, Mr. Murray and and the developer of of uh, the builder of this lot to to create a level area in here as it's shown on the plan to more closely emulate what was approved. Okay, Dave, now, now um, that level spread you said is not being constructed. Is that true? It's been constructed as a swale. So instead as you can imagine spreader. from from the outlet, it instead of being level for let's say 25, 30 feet, it's running down grading. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and delivering point, point, uh, discharge down in this general area. So would it be possible to, to bring that, that area, that low area up ever so slightly and then to in order to uh, keep in order to keep the water from leaving the level spread? Or you say it's not been constructed as a level spreader, but it needs to be? I, I believe so. I, it's, oh, okay. my, it, it's my opinion that there should either be a check dam at this point. If they yeah. want to leave this, you know, just because um, I, I did, I was out there and witnessed some of these test pits, by the way, for, mm -hmm. with respect to drainage, not with respect to Title V. Right. Um, they had very good soils down in this general area. Right. So my well, usually, suggestion I think would those, be... I, I think the soils down there are sandy and they're silty sand, though. They, they are. They're, they're, they're 
a, a fine sand with with some yeah. trace uh, uh, silts with some yeah. silts. The whole site is is got significant silt on it. Right, right. So, so I can see why that that's not only that's where the silt's coming from that's getting to these people's houses, but it's also um, why that's not it's not going it's not being accepted into the soils as quickly as what they would as, as what they would hope. So I'm assuming that the that the detention ponds have been designed with that with that slow perk in, in or that slower perk in mind. Um, so it sounds like the basically what needs to happen is a reconstruction of that level spreader as a level spreader. And um, and I do think a check dam is probably not a bad idea and probably should have been done a long time ago to prevent this water from getting down to these people's homes. Is that be right. fair? Yeah. Yeah, it, it I think it is fair, Warren. Um, but again, um I I I think what we can do is we can enforce this plan and um and yeah, I, I we we need to insist that something be done, and I think that yeah. we we have this on the plan. We should enforce the plan. All right. So, so is so um so does that so what you're suggesting is that we need to bring the developer in for a meeting and say, listen, you know, um, and tell him and, and say to him why you know why haven't you built this level spreader as designed? Number one, and number two, if you don't think you can control this, then we're going to require that you put a check dam in there. We're going to added on to the approval. I mean, that's going to be. Was, uh, Mr. Murray is here, I think. Was he? I think I see him. I think he might be driving. Uh, <laughs> that's him. OK. OK. Yeah, can, so can um, you turn so his I mic mean, on? So that might so that might be the that would probably be the answer then. So it shouldn't have well, any, Now, who's the is the developer building this uh, the um, the level spreader, or is or is this piece of property now in the hands of a of a contractor or somebody else? I I would say that it's part of the easement. It's part of the covenants of of the acceptance of this subdivision. I would say that it is the developer responsibility of the developer. Okay. Yeah, and I I I'd further add um, that um, the the pond itself. You had made uh, a mention that the 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 pond is sized accordingly. I think the pond appears to be sized accordingly, um, but again, it silted up. There was a significant amount of um, silt and, and <clears throat> erosion that went into mm -hmm. that particular uh, pond. Right. Well, I'm I'm familiar with the soils in that area. That's how come I knew what was going on there. Yeah. So um um. So uh, well, actually, basically, what we want to do is put, do, uh, make a, some kind of a uh, repair here, or some kind of a change, if uh, you know whether it be the build out of the level spreader or, or a check dam or some other methodology used to stop everything from going down to that low point, that low corner. Right. Because um, Ms. at this particular point, we kind of owe it to those people. So, Mr. Pierce, I say something. Hey, go ahead. That's who. Who's talking? You. David Murray. Oh, oh, David. David. oh, there you go. There, yeah. you're, you're driving that. We can't see a face. That's all, David. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's all right. No, no, that's okay. Go ahead, Dave. What can you do to take care of this? I think the only way to do it is do it a check. If I put a check dam through there, because if I continue that level spreader, the, the, the grade drops off significantly. So if I try to make that level, I followed the existing grade on the plan. If I try to level that where the FES comes out, I'll be six feet higher than the abutting property with stone. Mm -hmm. And it's just gonna leach through it and follow the same, same path that it's going. There's no way for me to change the topo of the, of the land going down towards the abutters property without doing a check dam. Okay, are you? Uh, but but that that begs a question, of course. And the question that it begs is: is it, is this design faulty? Is there something wrong with this design? Uh, it, the pond itself is working perfectly. The um, I don't rate think of runoff is a, has reduced. Yeah. yeah. You know the rate of the the water, uh, as everybody knows, we've had we've broken records this year in the history of the amount of rain. We all know that. You know that I know that extremely well. <laughs> I know. But what I'm trying to say is that that pond has been working great. 
and it's except for this this year this situation and i i think to dave's comment as the water going down is, is when i sold the lot to the builder on lot five he had some problems he made the house bigger he did some things i made him insert a swale and he actually connected it to my swale and he, he took the water and dragged it further down not that the water wasn't originally wasn't going to go there anyway because that's the way the site is i have a 46 foot difference between the original grade from the top of shea lane to the butter at not a row which is at the, that water has always been going that way i mean it yeah. all through it there's this no no way even if i control the water and i blocked the pond the surface, the sheet flowing, as David mentioned, is still going through that property that way. It's, it's just the way it is. Yeah. If you look at David's plan, the existing conditions plan, you'll see the topo on that. It's impossible for me to change what the glaciers had put there. Yeah, you know well, I, I understand, mean? I, I, I understand exactly what we're doing there. I mean, I understand what yeah. you're trying to do and why the level spreader and so forth, because yeah. you know, what you're trying to do is replicate the sheet flow that existed prior to development. That's Correct. what you're trying to do. Because that's yeah, what the and we did, and, and, and I actually, we, yeah, we actually reduced a lot of the water, believe it or not, by raising the, we raised that cul-de-sac eight feet, which took the, the original plan that was graded down towards the uh, Nutter Road. We raised that cul-de-sac when we moved the pond, a total of yeah. eight feet, which changed all the grading along those that the end of the cul-de-sac, which right. significantly helped all those people on Nutter Road. Right. So that being said, I, I agree with Dave. I think we need a check dam. I don't think I could do a level spreader that will actually work because the water is going to go through the stone and find its way eventually to where it's going now anyway, where it's naturally going. But I think well, if, if I put a, a, check, a, a, a yeah. check dam in and I can try and slow it down and redirect it and help yeah. it. You know, go so to you the, put a check dam on the east end of that, on the, on, the, on the east end of that, you put, it, you put your check dam that let, let the uh, let the level spread hold the water a little longer and let it flow the way yes. it was flowing before. So I think I think I, I see exactly. what you I see what you got to do. Um, can, is that something that we can get done sooner rather than later? Yeah, I, I could. I just I didn't want to do anything with the approval from the planning board. I talked to yeah. David about it. I'm willing to do what I need to do as always. You, I just um, wanted the, the direction. I didn't want to go ahead and change something, do something without the yeah. planning board's approval. No, that's okay. You could have come to it, you know, anytime, David, you should have just come to us when, when this was began to become a problem and we would have supported what well, you tried to do. I, I, I would have, but it, was, it wasn't a problem until this year, until this about a, uh, until right. this developer, uh, the builder that I built, the, the, that I sold this lot to that created some of these issues. Uh, so yeah, that's what happened. It, it has been quiet. This is Chris. It has been quiet, David, since the, since, since the beginning of Shea Lane. When we had a, yeah. a bunch of a bunch of problem, and that was yeah. nothing was built out yet. We understood that. that, on that the issue. West side. Right, right. But uh, yeah, since th this has just started recently, I don't know when he took over the property. But if they've changed what you put in there, uh, we got to well, get didn't it back. They change it, Chris. They just they had issues with water. So what they did is they redirected their water over to over towards the yeah. over towards right. the. Yeah, detention yes, exactly. And that, and that added to the quantity trying to go through the level spreader, which right. of course just exited down to the east and ended up down in the corner there. Right, right. So, so that's the problem. All right. Yep. Do you um? Okay. So to move this right along here, do we want? Do you want to have the engineers uh, draw something up and and give it to us, Dave? I, I don't. I mean, you you can do something and they can draw it afterwards. I don't care. I mean, because solving. I'd rather do that. I, I I would prefer to do it with Dave Giagrande, and we come right. to us uh, agreement of what what will work, and then I I'll just do it. Then and then, draw and then, it let, and, and then it. let them pick it up on the as bill. Yes, exactly. Okay, Dave Giagrande, are you all set with that? Okay. Yeah, on, I, I um I I think that um. I think it's it's better to have a third party involved where this is a an existing issue mm -hmm. uh, with some with some of butters. Um, I think that I'm I'm fine reviewing um, these elements. Um, you know, I, I 
it's somebody else's work. I, I don't have a problem making suggestions, Lauren, but uh, um, I'm not the designer of records. So okay, so if the board see, feels rather... comfortable, I'll do whatever the board instructs me to do. I'll work with Dave, but uh, I think that the, the preference would be have another engineer take a look at this, make sure it's uh, correct and 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 but you know if, if you'd like me to uh, just work with Dave I will okay well I understand that completely so um, and that would my preference would be to have the engineers draw something up overnight and let us get it in there because my primary concern is to take care of these abutters okay so that's what I'm that's what I'm looking at Danielle well the problem Hi. is I don't have an engineer or record anymore well hang on Danielle go ahead yeah, I, I, well, I guess just a couple of concerns. One, um, <clears throat> the engineer record for this plan isn't really, it doesn't seem to be reachable and doesn't seem to be around. Um, I don't know if we, if we, if there is some way that we can do something temporarily, um, but we should probably have a properly designed engineered plan that then Dave approves or reviews and approves. Um, but I completely agree that something should be done as soon as possible to bring the butters relief. It's you know, it's it's really been quite a quite a long time they've been putting up with it. I, I also did just want to mention I, I noticed at least one of the abutters on Nutter Road is here on the call, so I didn't know if you wanted to give them a chance to ask ask any questions about um, you, you know, know what we're doing or make any comment. But well, I think they see what we're trying to do here. We're trying to fix it. <laughs> so so um uh, and it's okay for we I, I read all of the communications that they sent and everything and. And uh, it's good that they wrote everything down because it really helped me see what was going on, especially some of the video stuff. It was really the video uh, stuff was great. That was great. They did a great job with that. So they're certainly yeah, more than welcome good. to comment on it. But but um, before they do, I would really like to know what we're going to do here or how what kind of time frame we're looking at because um, right now in the next week or two, it doesn't look like there's any major rain coming. But you know. You know the way things are; it could happen if, in Spain, and I'd rather if have frost it. is coming soon. Yeah, that only makes it worse because then it just runs down the surface of the ground. It and, runs down the know, surface it, of the yeah, ground. Yeah. It gets it more difficult to put anything in. Also, it gets it well. It gets it more difficult to control it as well. Right. So, so right. we really kind of want to um, um, get ahead of it. Want to get ahead of it? Yeah. So, Dave, well, I'm going to go out a little bit. Uh, well, first, Dave, um, Dave Murray. Is, is it, do you, do you have a relationship with an engineer of any kind that you could get something that they could just take a look at this and just come up with a basic design for the check dam? I could, but it's probably going to take three months for them to even look at it. Uh, and that's why I was trying to, that's why I'm trying to do it between him, Dave Giagrande and myself, because I can do it. It's just, everybody's so busy doing stuff. This is yeah. an engineer record. It, he doesn't work, do this anymore. So um, yeah, yeah. To, find, to bring somebody up to speed is uh, I've already yeah. reached out to all of them. Daniel, and I'd rather try do a check dam is I could do a check dam and try and control it within the next couple of days, you know, or next week. Yeah. I could I could get doing that under you know David's guidance, of course. And uh, well I think what I would like to do then, okay. Well this this, this unfortunately Dave Murray, this, this the responsibility for this does kind of fall on you and yep. whether you have an engineer of record or not at this point. Um, it's something that you're going to have to uh, deal with. So let me leave it like this. Why don't Dave? Why don't you, Dave Murray? Why don't you to give us? Um, please do something as soon as possible. Give us a sketch or a drawing of some kind, and so that all Dave Jane Grandy's going to do is look at it and say it looks like that'll be okay. In the meantime, we we'll probably need to look at getting uh, you, you getting an engineer to certify what it is that you've done. Yep, I can do that. Okay, because I mean, I did, we're going to put the engineer on the end. I'm not going to put Dave Jane Grandy on the spot because uh, I'm going to let you design it, uh, Dave Murray, because you certainly have more than enough experience to do this. Yep, I can do so, that. Okay, does that work for everybody? That uh, solve your <laughs> Dave Jane Grandy that keeps you out of that other than an uh, approving authority? Mm -hmm. Okay. Fine. Okay. Thanks, pal. Great. <laughs> <laughs> well, yep. you know. <laughs> if, we, if we can take care of these people, you know, you know, and and if you can do it, that would be good, and it'll give them a, a, a level of comfort that everybody's taking care of them, you know. I've been doing that all along, Warren. I, I know, but it's been it's. I know it's been a trust. trust it's been a tough go. It's been a tough go this yep. year. So I I sympathize with you, but we need to start do something for these people. Just yep. so I thank you very much for cooperating anyway and for helping out. And to, 
if you can do that, Dave can look at it. We'll uh, and then we'll look at trying to get an engineer of record or something because at some point you're going to have to do an as built. I'm going to do it anyway. Yep. You're going to have to have an engineer in there. So if in the yep. if in the process of of doing that they decide that there needs to be a change to the to the uh, way the check dam is done, uh, that may be that may be necessary. But I I'm a little concerned that and I, and I'm really. I really wish you still had an engineer of record because I would like to ask them. I, I have a feeling that that design, not quite what it needed to be to handle that problem. So, but so if, as long as we stop the problem and then we go through it and get an engineer at the end to certify what it is that's done, um, I think that'll all be okay. Right. Does anybody on the board have any questions before we go anywhere else here? Uh, you can stop uh, screen sharing Dave, uh, Jean Grandy, and Milk so we can talk to a couple of people. And, um, so do uh, anybody on the board, any members of the board have any questions or comments on what we're looking at there? Uh, Mr. Pierce, this is John Davis. Uh, my wife and I, Patty, are on the call. Okay. And uh, we were probably going to be uh, buying the house <laughs> at Shaylane. So we've been yeah. uh, intimately involved in everything that's been going on. Uh, is it okay if we chime in for uh, a second? Sure. Thank you. So, um, by the way, uh, Dave has been fantastic. We've been working with Dave throughout this process and he's been very right. helpful. Uh, but we're just a little bit concerned, obviously, in terms of the fact that we weren't expecting a swale to be installed in the first instance. Um, we want to do what's right by the neighbors, our abutters on Nutter, but at the same time, we want to make sure that we're being protected as well. So we just, you know, wondering what, you know, because obviously we're trying to buy a house. We're not trying to, you know, buy a, a um, a problem. And so we're just right. wondering what, what protections we will have, not just the abutters, but us as well, because we want to be good neighbors, but we all also want to make sure that we're protected. And again, we okay. also want to make clear that Dave has been fantastic throughout this process. Okay. So, so my, so the, the plan that we have in place right now that we just discussed uh, does makes for an initially um, a, a, an immediate solution to the, to the problem, a temporary, and it may be temporary, it may be permanent, depending on how it goes. So Dave Murray is going to, he knows how to build a check dam. He's been doing this a lot. I've known him for a long time. He knows what he's doing. So he's going to um, do that. And Dave Jane Grandy, as our peer review engineer, is going to review what gets done and comment on it. If his comments are that it needs to be done more or differently, then that's then that's what we'll that's what we'll take to to back to Mr. Murray. But if if he say if but if it appears to him in his professional opinion that it'll do the job, that's fine. When we get an engineer of record that's going to as built this, so which is going to have to be one, um, we're going to lean on him a little about this uh, about this level spreader, about whether or not the design of it is adequate or whether it needs to be uh, modified in some way. So, uh, but one way or another, um, the water is going to go the way it's been going. And I don't know if you understood the explanation that uh, that Dave Jane Grandy gave, but, and that is that the water sheet flowed down there straight across onto that adjoining property before. That's how it went because of the difference in grades. And so the level spreader was an attempt to take what was obviously reduced flow and spread it out over so that it simulated the sheet flow that existed before the development. So that's, that was the concept. So it's not gonna affect um, um, you any, John, it's what, what it, the only thing is that it's uh, changes that were made on that lot, on your lot, contributed to this because they had a problem with water and they directed it over to the, towards that, uh, that, that detention pond and added to the problem, if you will. Um, but I think it's capable of handling it. And, and if we can just let it, you know, cause originally all that water sheet flowed across the lot line. So using the detention ponds, they've slowed it down. They've controlled the rate of release. And uh, it's just that the sheet flow system uh, that the, um, the level spreader system doesn't appear to be uh, working the way it should. And we've lost the engineer that designed it. So we're gonna to have to work backwards on it. Do you have any questions on that? Uh, no, and a lot of that went over my head admittedly, but uh, I, do <laughs> trust, I, I do trust that Dave, or well, both Dave's know what they're doing. And uh, yeah. we just wanted to you know, make sure that uh, Peter's, you know, protected. Uh, Peter's protected, that we're protected. And uh, right. we, we appreciate the fact that you guys are, are looking to you know, make sure that everybody's protected. So thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I have some experience in the whole thing myself, so I understand clearly what's happening here and what we need to do. So, um, so hopefully, what we what we uh, what we come up with will will solve the problem quickly, and then ultimately we'll get a certification on a permanent solution before the end of the subdivision. Okay. 
Thank you very much. You're welcome. Is there someone else that wanted to speak on uh, uh, any one of the Nutter Road people or are you guys all set? Good. Okay, I don't hear anybody commenting. So um, if you intended to comment, make sure you unmute yourself so that we can hear you. Um, but if you're uh, if you're all set, then uh, and we can uh, we can move on with this. Okay. Warren, do we Warren, do we want to read something into the into the minutes on this? So a motion of some sort, or not really, because we don't really have anything in front of us to make a motion. Okay. On. Okay. So that's uh, true. We don't. So we uh, don't. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're, you know we're not done with this. You know, right now. Oh no, we're not. Right now, what we're going to do is immediately solve the problem, and then and yep. then and then and we're going to then we're going to get some feedback from Mr. Gene Grandy about the, the solution. The, then he's going to say yes, good, or no, I think a little something else needs to be done. However, it is, I'm sure that Mr. Mario will take care of it. And then at that point, um, and again, as I said, in the in the end, somebody's got to certify this. Some engineer's got to do an ASBO certify this. And that's what we'll be looking for. That's when we'll be looking for the final reading as to whether or not the construction of this is going to work. Right. So, okay. 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 Anybody else? Mr. Giangrani, thank you, sir, very much for attending tonight. That you were a great help. We, we needed that input. Thank you. Always my pleasure. Okay. Thank you, David. Good evening. You take care, sir. Okay. And Mr. Murray, are you still with us? Yeah, he's still there. Okay. Oh yeah, I, okay, I see you. Okay, Dave, thank you very much. Do please do this as quickly as possible. You know, I know we we, we got to look like a pretty reasonable stretch of weather for the next week too. But you know, but let's not wait. Let's get it done and and be sure Absolutely. that when you you if you want to sketch something up and give it to Dave Jane Grandy first, that wouldn't wouldn't hurt. But if you uh, but if you just know what you're going to do and you know what you're going to do and he can look at it afterwards and you can give him whatever whatever. Uh, information you can give them on it that would uh uh as we move along here that's what i'm going to do warren i'm probably going to go ahead and install it make sure so i know what the conditions yep. are and what i'm doing and once i'm done yep. and i can solve it i may do two check dams i, I won't yep. know until i actually get out there and start looking at this yeah i am i understand exactly because you put it you can put one up close and then you can put a really a capture one a little down lower i know exactly exactly <laughs> exactly yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no more water going. I've been down this road going. myself, so I already know what you're going to do. So, yep. All right, good. So just make sure the construction of them meets Dave's, Dave Jane Grandy's uh, expectations. That's all. I'll exceed it. Okay. <laughs> I hope so. That'll be great. And I thank you so very much okay. for attending tonight and helping us out with this. All right. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, David. Yep. All right, thank you. Bye -bye. Okay. Um, Warren, you've made your eight o'clock. So you could do your, uh, we could can, we could do those continuances. One's okay. a continuance and the other's a. Uh, okay, well, I gotta, just, I gotta, I gotta get my, uh, I gotta, I got everything on my iPad, but um, I gotta bring, how to bring it back up. <laughs> okay, for our eight o'clock, uh, no, this is a re request to withdraw. You gotta, you gotta request withdraw and you got a continuance. Yep, but they continue at both at eight o'clock. Nope, Can I just? Oh, I'm sorry. No, that one's not eight. Okay. Can I ask a question? Yes, please do. Um, because I know it's a, uh, to withdraw without prejudice, but do you still need to read the legal notice into the record? I just wanted to ask that question. Oh, you mean open the public hearing and then withdraw it? I don't think we need to do that, do we, Danielle? It's been so long since we've done one, I can't remember. I don't think we do. We also pulled the second legal ad once we knew that they weren't yeah. continuing. Well, so yeah, then it's not, no, it's not officially a public hearing. No, they yeah. just have to I withdraw just... without presidents. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. They, they, they just want to withdraw without presidents in order to save themselves the money and the whole issue. So. Right. Mr. Pierce. Is why, that's why it's there. So go ahead. Go ahead. I move that the Community Planning Commission vote to grant the applicant's request of November 2nd, 2021, to withdraw the site plan review of 86 Main Street without prejudice. Okay, I have a motion, do I have a second? Second. Okay, we have a second by Jeremiah, I guess. And then uh, all in favor, please say, uh, I'm sorry, let me, I gotta do, okay. I keep forgetting that. Dave, I'll start with you. Aye. 
Okay, Jeremiah. Aye. And Christopher. Aye. And myself, aye. So there's four, four eyes, and uh, um, Brian's not with us this evening. So, um, okay, they're withdrawn. Okay. Um, the the sewer planning. Has anybody has everybody got had a chance to look at that study, that draft, that scope of work? I didn't read the entire thing. I read yeah. most of it. What's um, Danielle? What is this for? A bid, or is this an engineer? Or, I mean, a group that's going to do this, or what is this? A scope of work? It's a draft scope of work that the DPW director has um, drafted um, with some input from me and Warren and I met with him um, last yep, week. Yep. But this is basically another expanded approach to what was done about a decade ago with FXM. Um, and this that study had been more about uh, just solely looking at what would be the uh, projected increase in tax revenue. This is, a, this is quite a bit more than that. And it right. is very right. focused mm -hmm. on um, how, what financing scheme should the town embark on in order to fund yep. sewer? Right. And what would the betterment and assessment um, process be like? How would, how would the properties be bettered? How would assessments change? Um, it goes into um, much more of the financial aspect of it rather than just predicting new growth but that is also a part of it so prediction so, of new growth um also trying to figure out what what new development redevelopment a development of vacant land etc could take place um based on having sewer and um including consideration of what the market would allow and and based on that providing some um you know projections for the tax and tax revenue increase, but the tax revenue generation is not the sole point of the study. It's just, it's one of several points of the study. Yeah, I kind of, I can gather that from, from reading it. So this will go out to a bid to have an engineering, yeah. an engineering group um, or, or a consulting type group do this? Yeah, it would be an RFP. So not necessarily lowest bidder, but um, yeah, rest yeah, overall sorry, value, I RFP. think yeah. would be the approach. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you uh, if you if you guys are familiar with Joe, but he does have a, a bunch of experience with sewer, and inc including uh, this this doing this kind of work. So he he seems very he's very knowledgeable. And when I read through it, I was I was impressed by the completeness of it. So um, I think he did a great job, and um, we had, we did add a few things to a few points to it at the time. But for the most part, he's nailed it right down pretty good. If we I get everything we're asking for in that particular thing, we'll have we'll have a good basis for making decisions. I can tell you that. So, <laughs> I, I would agree with that. It's very comprehensive as far as what will be studied, and then yep. whatever is the product that's delivered should cover. The parts that kind of concern me, and the, again, this is just a scope of work, but is how we define um, in in how it impacts. Um, and again, back to define, they define a property that could be connected to the system and that that property then is potentially assessed a higher rate and I you know I just want to I know again this is just a scope of work and that will be looked at but I think you know, a lot of townspeople will be if you're off a of main street on a street like what constitutes could be and also do your property else and go up and again, as a major, it's line number two in this thing is one of the motivating things of this whole thing is that Proposition proposition two and a half allows you to, you know, get a little bit more with the assessed value in the town. So if you jack up all the assessments all the way down Main Street, and then all the could be connected to properties, it's a whopping sum of money, and it just gives the town the ability to, you know, add more tax assessment to everyone in town to again do things that maybe not all the people in the town want them to do. You know. I think everybody's behind the sewer, but you know that just worries me a little bit because think about it, we're talking sewer, but what this assessment does is it jacks up the tax, accessible tax values of everybody in this whole town. And that's kind of scary. 
Yeah, I, I, uh, Dave, I want to I want to think that um, that the company that we would that would respond, the uh, companies that would respond to the RFP, the one we would ultimately choose, would have some experience, because the comments you just made would apply to any town that did this. So I'm assuming that they would find um, that they would find us uh, some solutions to that that minimize the impact on the rest of the because I think we indicate that that's what we want to do. Um, yeah, because I mean, you're selling this and this was sold to everybody a couple of weeks ago and, and, and I'm 100% behind it. And many people I talked to in the last three weeks have been the same, but you know, it's being sold as going down Main Street. So again, it's that item number two on that part of his study right. there or their study, sorry, that assesses the ones in proximity uh, they're using the word future. Well, that's Could why he's asking. That, that's why the que it's a question in there. The question is for the people who respond to the RFP, whoever we choose, to tell us how the, how it is that we. No, I get that. I get that, Mr. Chairman. I was. I'm just saying what concerns me. So I'm not. I'm looking forward. I'm not questioning oh, okay. the wording here. Do that study. I, absolutely. I just mean that I'm concerned. You know, with how we define connectability that also dings people that, hey, I just bought a septic system three years ago yeah. and now I'm getting dinged because I'm 200 feet back from Main Street and I have a two bedroom you know, house. I'm, I don't need this line you know, and I'm gonna get assessed more. So I, I'm, just, I'm just sensitive to that. And hopefully we stick with, at least on this first tier, just you know, you're on Main Street, that's the accessible kind of, um, well, yeah, I, think that's that's the, uh, I think I think that's the um, those are some of the answers that we're looking for with the RFP. I think so. We don't we yeah. don't have them yet. So I understand. I you know, and I understand that I read the whole thing too. So I understand exactly where yeah. you're coming yeah. from there. But but my my takeaway from it was that we're going to get some input as to as to how that works. Yep. And, no, and how with that, you know, I like the bylaws. You know, drafting bylaws that would help. I mean, there's it's again, yeah. like you said, it's very comprehensive. Yep. Um, and so it's it, this. This is uh, this is good. It's just uh, I'm a little concerned on that yeah. one. <laughs> it was definitely done by somebody with some experience in this matter. So yeah, you you gotta you gotta ask the question during the RFP so we can get the answer, the outcome yep. from yep, the RFP. Absolutely. Once we hire somebody, if it's not in that mm -hmm. RFP, we might not get the answer, yeah. and we may ask I for agree. it, we may not get it. So I this agree. forces that yeah. answer. Yeah, I think that was what I was. I think Chris, that was probably a good way of putting it. That's kind of what I was. I was where I. Well, I mean, that's why I, why I kind of tried to say that's where I was coming from. That we're going to ask them the question, and right, you know, we have to ask that question, and then they say, okay, well, here's here's what's been done. Here's here's, here's how it's right, going on, and here's and how you got to ask. Are. And you can you got to ask all those questions. We only questions. want to choose tier one. That's it. Yeah. You got to ask so all those one, questions up front to get the, yeah. the right answer. Well, not the right answer, get the real answer for any question that may come up. We're so, trying to get information and knowledge so we can make good decisions. Right. That's what we're after here. I have one and other so, question too that maybe Danielle can answer or even Vincenzo, mm -hmm. but what it, could you explain a little bit to me the chapter 85? I think it's a section 15B, which um, it kind of limits the town, the assessed value that they can on half the value. Can, I mean, I can read it, I just want to like, can you put that in the lay terms of what that means? I can't. Is that the section that re that um, refers to the levy limit? Yeah, I mean, so is it just? Uh, and again, Vincenzo has been closer to this. So is it like the, so half of the construction value? So we, if it's a hundred million dollars, the town can only no uh, recover. No, yeah, basically what that basically if you read through it, you have to read through it a couple times because I did. <laughs> and I'm usually pretty no, I read through it three times. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Well, basically it's it's an attempt to keep uh, the towns from foisting the entire cost of the inf the the base infrastructure, pump stations and so forth, on a small group of people in the beginning, because the, you, because you're building it for posterity, you're building it for growth. So basically, right. that's why they want to just only allow you to 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 uh, to get half or, or or take only half of those costs and apply them to the um, to the to the uh, um, betterments and everything because the rest of it is is for the future people and they'll pay, have to pay for it when it comes around. So so there is an investment that we that the town would that gets has to make that there's no return on until you until you grow into the system all the way. 
That's what that chapter 85 is all about. Okay, Vincenzo. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Chair Pierce. So one thing I want to add too is that it's interesting you brought that up, David, because the other thing that is going to come up, and we haven't discussed it yet in the select board, but because of that split of how much you can put on those that are going to receive the direct betterment, it does not stop town meeting from getting their money back on the debt financing side. Remember that chart of how much, you know, the 25, 50, mm -hmm. 75? Yeah. So it's yeah. something that we have to, again, I look at everything in net numbers. That's just like, because of my profession, I don't look at gross. So the thing is that um, to your point, almost on that, like we need to make sure too that, well, we accept that we can't, you know, we got to do a 50, 50 split here, but we backdoor it by saying, all right, what we're going to say is that 90% of the financing cost is going to go on those that got the betterment and 10% to everybody else. Right. And again, this is more of a, I, I'm just, it just, it, it jogged my memory that this is something that came up because I could see, I could see the town wanting this. And if we, and the majority of the town, as I've seen on some votes, figuring out a way of how to defend their pocket at the cost of others. I, I'm just be, I'm just being honest. So, you know, I, I, like, I, I think that that back door, I think, is the more, I think that is more consequential even on if maybe a home 200 feet away got reassessed higher. I, I mean, maybe not for that specific person, but. Person, right. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Yeah, town-wide uh, understood. Yeah. Because understood. I can tell you that, okay, I mean, what if everyone by the Andover, or not even. What if everybody by like the Andover and Middleton and Peabody lines just stack town meet? I mean, like, do you see what I mean? It's, a, it's something where that's the thing. Town meeting, the beauty of it is who shows up votes. But it seems like with big things like this, people vote and come. And like, I think that, you know, so so that's the other thing. I just wanted to point it out that there's a lot of uh, moving parts here, but hopefully some of these studies will help us make an informed decision. I mean, I personally think that I have a lot of confidence that this is going to happen once we have everything. I mean, that we have a lot of tailwinds here. I mean, more yeah. than any other. And again, I'm not saying others didn't try, but no one had some of the tailwinds we have now. I mean, Warren and Chris, you guys have been around forever. You've seen it. Like, I mean, I don't know if there was any other situation. No. I haven't talked to your group since the meeting, but after talking to Steve O'Leary and some others, I, no one has been able to identify another period in time that there was this much going for it for sure. Right. You yeah. know, so, but yeah, no, but good point. I can take that back because we have a strategic planning meeting mm -hmm. in a couple of weeks. You know, I know we keep adding things to the agenda. I mean, we might be in that back room at the police station till like two in the morning, but, <laughs> um, but it is true. It's a front room. It's not a back room. I don't know. I've never been there. I mean, <laughs> it's I, a very I, lovely room. I helped design that room, young man. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm it's sure it's very lovely. It's um, the community room there. Yeah. The community, the community room. training room. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but yeah. I'll, I'll, last I'll, night. Yeah. We'll bring this up. I mean, this will be something that will definitely come up and then, you know, kind of, uh, and although, and if also, if anybody missed it, we did award, uh, we, we did settle with a contract. And I have to go back to my notes. I don't have them. I have them in the car. But I believe that we actually came in a couple hundred thousand less than expected on the contract with Wright Pierce to do the, the design. Which, Plus another 300,000 from the state, right? 100. We had applied 000? for three. Oh, all right. We did get the max, which was 100. Mm -hmm. But... Okay. Um, and again, I, I think that this is kind of the other thing we all presented is that, you know, now that we're getting into the real, not just the what if and what I call the play yeah. zone, the numbers, Wright Pierce did a good, Wright Pierce, even with that 115 million, that is an overestimation. I mean, they really packed it on just so we can surprise on the downside, hopefully. So, but yeah, good stuff. It's always better to be high than low. Because you. when you when you go low and then you got to go back for more money, it's a tough road. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd rather turn money you, back. Uh, in. Uh, thank you, Vincenzo, for that input. Thanks, you know, Vincenzo. we're gonna. But I'm but I'm looking forward to hoping. And Dave, you you know you're right on the money with some of those things. But we're, we're gonna. But but again, I 
looking forward to gathering information and knowledge from this whole yep. thing so that no we can problem. make because we can we can we can clearly say okay we're only going to tier one if you will we're only going to do main street we're not going to go after any of the people further back we're going to do whatever we need to do to get the pipes in the ground because once the pipes in the ground and th then you'll begin to hear from the eam streets and the burdett roads where as they slowly go underwater and campus yep. and the septic systems get to be fifty thousand. Then they're gonna say, you know, I'll gladly give thirty to hook up to sewer. You know, I mean, that's that's basically yep. how. It and, and and get a loan for twenty years for it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can't can, do yeah. that. You can't do that with a septic system. No, you can't. No, you can't. No. You, but you can do that with a with municipal sewer. Hey, if right. we that's want to bring it down sixty two all the way to Middleton past my house, I'll hook on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you got waterfront property there. Yeah, you know. I can't do anything here. I'm not, it's not really my yard. I, but I, <laughs> unfortunately, the the person that sold me the house never told me of like I never knew what conservation land was until I got to North Reading and realized my backyard really doesn't belong to me. Yeah, <laughs> that's oh, well. how it goes. Conservation. You got to yeah. love it. Uh, sorry. <laughs> well, okay. Should have come okay, and talked so, to Danielle um, before you bought the house. She would have told you. I, yeah, all I knew about wanted, North Reading is that it was north of Reading. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that we uh, were all set for this. Uh, did you want anything out of us, Danielle, for this, other than to say that we kind of, that we concur with the uh, draft tool? And that no, we that, that's all, only if there were um, okay. any concerns or any feedback. Joe actually uh -huh. offered to be on the call, but he had a prior commitment, um, otherwise he was going to join. Um, but mm -hmm. he's just interested in making sure that we are all, uh, you know, comfortable with the scope before further yeah. to the next step i think that i think that it's well done and i think that he will get us i think that what if we get somebody that's able to address all those issues we're going to get a pretty comprehensive answer and it's going to make it a lot easier for us to decide which way to go so yeah I'm looking forward to the results of that so okay um good enough anything else on that okay um we do have a bunch of uh, or a couple of zvas that we can go through before we get to 8 30. Uh, so, and uh, hey, Danielle, what's the what's zoning at Anthony Road? I want to say residence A, but let me check while we're talking. Right. Anthony Road. I don't think so. I thought I thought I thought it was A, but it looks like B. Yeah. It, 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 well, yeah, I know there's all it's all very small lots, so it could very likely be B. Yeah, they're but late, they're later they're lots. A, but it may be A non-conforming. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They might have changed it. Yeah. These are RA. They're just non-conforming. RA, unless they were built as um a cluster. So no, they weren't built as a cluster. Yeah, no, they, they, were they were built as they were built as Bs, and then they got they got upgraded to As. Yes. I see. Can I? Okay, I'm gonna sign off. Can I, I can I, Vincenzo? Okay. Can I, thanks, Vincenzo? Thanks for showing up, Vincenzo. No we problem. I'd stay longer, but uh, back to back night meetings. I got I got a I, I got too much to lose upstairs in Massachusetts. If I get thrown out of the house, I'm gonna lose it all. So I gotta get back. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so which one are we looking at? Are we looking at the Anthony well, Road one? Asked, I was going to start with. I only asked the question. It, it was a quick question because I'm looking at the lots. And it looked like they're twenty thousand square foot lots, but I thought it was residence A there, and Danielle just confirmed that Mary. that today's zoning is residence A, so they're not conforming residence A because they were mm -hmm. on the ground prior to the zoning change. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, you know what? It, it, I remember that subdivision that was trying to go in behind Anthony Road. There, those were all. Um, those were all uh, residents. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right down right. that. Right. Right down next to there. Right. Yeah, that's right. Now that I think I about know. it, well, that, and that, except that one house on the corner that they were going to keep. Yep. Um, for, as an keep it as a forty B. Yeah, no, as an affordable. As affordable, not a forty B. That was going to stay on a small lot. So. Right. So uh, two seventy one Main Street. Is uh, the uh, chargers okay? Yeah, that's that's right. That's for this, yeah. And, and, and no cheese, look at the look at how they describe it to the zoning board of appeals. Yeah, 
right? They tell them right there, which they didn't do to us, that they're going to have a moving scrolling sign. And I think we should weigh in and say that we We don't like this. Yeah, (laughs) absolutely. I mean, I I think that's all we can do is say we support the building inspector. We can comment on it if you want. But basically, the building inspector says you can't have that kind of scrolling sign. Right. And um, and so we support the building inspector decision. Absolutely. Um, okay. I don't think we need more than that on 271 Main Street. Nope. Okay. Any anybody have any difference on that? Any comments? Okay. Okay. So the 33 Anthony Road. Um, I you know when I looked at it, it looked like. Um, Plenty of room there. I mean, I don't. I was almost wondering why they had it. I mean, I guess maybe one dimension doesn't work at all. Well, in residence A, they got they need that forty feet. They could they feet. could back that building up by four feet, and they could just move it back farther, four feet, and they'd be fine. The whole building, they'd have four more uh, feet. Of yeah, asphalt. but you don't know how the interiors match up. So no, 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 Warren. Look at the zoom I in guess. on the on the left hand corner. Mm-hmm. There's a there's a little area there that's not built on make it a straight front instead of this little angled front there Mm -hmm. they're not affecting the way they tie into the into the main building at all it's right under the Mm -hmm. a (laughs) under the draft why would they yeah because that's what the architect wants to make it look pretty with a little maybe they want to put a door there and they're going to put a step i don't know but they could they could still put a door there with a step. It's just flush with the other with the rest of the building. They could I mean, actually put a they could actually put a three foot overhang. I think l- legally, because it's not it's not a building to cover the doorway. And maybe they'll do that. But I mean the addition the addition they're showing there is seven hundred and fifty square feet. The house is a thousand. Yeah. So it's pretty big addition pretty big quote unquote garage and again yeah, this is. is my thing this is my thing with zba is you know and i mean it'll get to mr noel at some point but it's like is this really a garage or is this a house addition and i that has context because if you're just looking for you know something to park your cars in you know the the board's plural are, are willing to kind of say oh you know you got to get your cars in you want it's no way. Dave, it's, worse, it's, it's actually worse than that. You know what that is? That's, what is an, a, that's an ADU in process. <laughs> but, the, but that's kind of what I'm saying is, and it gets back to the point where, you know, we're working on that. But, you know, it's like, just be honest, you're, you're not building a garage. And so when you go to the ZBA for a variance to, to go into setback, it really should be. And then and if, if you don't, you should, there should be a moratorium uh, a given five years, 10 years that you can't go change what you did because you're misrepresenting what you're presenting to these oh, yeah. boards. And we represent the residents. We've got voted in and we represent them. So when I say it's okay, cause you're building quote unquote a garage. And this is like constantly happens. If you talk to Jerry, then they go submit a change in the permit or whatever, yeah. and then it becomes right, an well, upper story apartment. Yeah. And I don't even care if it's apartment. It's not even the issue. It's I'd rather just have applicants be honest about what yeah. they're applying for. You want a variance to expand your house. No problem. That's what you're trying to do. Now, whether ZBA lets them do it or not, that's not up to me. Us, we'll comment on it, but that's ZBA. But I just, I just don't like this disingenuous process that we allow to happen and it, whether before I got on this board or now that I'm on it, I see it time and time again. People Maybe. are proposing garages and they don't build garages. They build additions. We've been we've been fighting this battle with the ZBA for, for 20, for how long? long? 28 it years? Was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> me about me, 30 years, you 26 or something. Or yeah, whatever, whatever it is, as long as I've been on the team? board. We brought this up with, uh, with Danielle yeah. when we talked about the ADUs on the last, you know, over the summer. How do you put teeth into it that says at least if someone's going to come forward and wants to actually do this, you know, they can, they, they're honest. Well, in, this they one, in this one, you know, I, there's a couple of uh, things in play here. One, it's, it's 22 feet long. I mean, deep. 
but that's what you need for a car, for a garage, for a car. It's uh, the back of it is just barely the 20 feet off the leach field that's required by the code. Yeah. And, and so the front of it, if you took four feet off the front of it, or three and a half feet basically off the front of it, maybe in the car, then the back of your car bumpers of your car is going to stick out of the back of the. Well, my know, car doesn't. I get a 20 foot garage. Huh? My garage yeah, is less than 20 SUV. feet. If you have one of the big SUVs. Well, too bad. You know. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Saying, that's a very that 22 feet is a pretty standard size for a garage. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. No, well, I yeah. I agree. But then what's so the that's why that's why they, 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 they have the hamstrung in the back and by the septic system and then there. So but I they didn't think show, it. They only show plan view, so you don't really know what they're doing. And again, I think for ZBA to issue approval, you know, to pass approve whatever they should have more information. And I've had this argument before, like this at least does give a plan from LGR. So at least we do have an accurate civil plan, but a lot yeah. of, there's no elevation. So you have no right. context of what you're approving. Right you now, yeah, this will be 28 feet tall. Um, we a, just, no. we, we, I can't tell you, Dave, how many times we've sent the comment, not enough information, not enough information. Not right. you remember Chris, we just- Oh yeah, there's, the there's more information more on this than normal. Would, we'd say, yeah, there's more, yeah, there's more here than we usually get. So right. Yeah. It's, it's been better. it's been better recently, but you're right, yeah. Dave. Haven't haven't been able to see what the building is going to look like because this is going to be 28 feet tall to the top of the roof. They're gonna yeah, they're gonna so put they a master show, bedroom. They have over. every right to you know they have every right to if it's all within the setbacks and this. But they're coming yeah. to us and coming for, to the ZBA. For, now. Yeah, for yeah, variance. They're coming, the, they're coming to the residents. That's what I keep have to redefine. It's not us, me personally. They're coming to the residents to say, listen. I, I want you to help me out. Give me a little extra because I'm building. I need to build a garage. But then you're really not telling the residents what you're really trying to do. Right. You're just asking us to approve it on complete faith that, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, go ahead. Build closer to the your next door neighbor. That's no problem. And then that, and that next door neighbor, then they end up building this giant thing. And how do, how do we or I protect that neighbor um, with, with the information I have right now? I don't have it. Yeah. So, well, you it's know, we certainly have the option, and we've we've had the option for years to to say uh, not enough information, and we've said that many times. So, I mean, in this one, I mean, we could, you know, I mean, I'm sure that uh, Chris, if you made the comment that we should think they should move back four feet, they'll easily defeat that with the impact on the septic system. So, Warren, so Warren, have a question. There's no cellar here, so it's a slab, right, with a frost wall. Well, well, no, well, before you say that, I'm going back to Dave again, and I'm saying, Dave, <laughs> that you're, you're right. There's no elevations here. I have no idea that there's no, I mean, this garage could be below ground. It could be uh, down lower in the backyard, be higher in order to- put Yeah, the in no, you're right, you're right. There you go, we have no elevations. That's right. It's only half That's a right. plan. But, but you, you, want, you know what I'm saying. I mean, you can't- I do, I do. The, the septic won't affect the, the building because it's a concrete in the ground and there's something no, under but, it. But, but there's got to be, a, a, even if there's just a frost wall back there or, or a uh, knee wall back there, yeah. if the septic system is a little bit higher than the floor of that oh, garage, you oh, need the okay. 20 feet. Right, 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 right. And so you need no to know the elevation. Really, yeah, that could be a pump up system. It could be way up here. You yeah. know, we know yeah. there's no way to know with no elevations on the plan. So his point is That's well right. taken. But Absolutely. it's been that way forever. Yep. yep. It's been that way forever. We rarely do we get anything of any consequence that we can actually but all, but all we can do, you know, is on this is just say need more and more information. I guess. Information. And that's I what I told can... you we've been doing for years. But I think <laughs> we can make the comment specific that um for for a variance such as this, we would recommend an elevation plan be required. You can say why. I mean, yeah, I don't, I mean, I won't, yeah. if you don't want me to. Elevation plan, te technically, all the elevation plan would do is prove that he needs to stay the 20 feet off the back, and then, um, and that's it. And then, so do you know it, still it? it still doesn't address the root problem that Dave brought up, and that I was, that I, that I, that my first thought was ADU in process. Yeah. Yeah. It's exactly what it is. So, so you know, there's this, you know, the Board of Appeals, I don't know, maybe we need to have a joint meeting with the Board of Appeals to talk about some of these things. We haven't had that with this new board either. No, we yeah, haven't. And I'm, the, I'm the liaison, so I will probably attend this 
particular meeting, which is in two weeks, is it? Hang on a sec. What is it? Uh, let me just zoom up. It is uh, up, 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 November 18th. Yeah. So I will attend that. But um, and, and maybe while it's still, you know, we're still discussing this in the public. So what is what is the duty or the limits of the liaison, such as maybe like Vincenzo here? You're you just can add some comment maybe, but you're not really. Well, technically, your job is technically the liaison goes to the Board of Appeals and brings information from them back to us. Technically, that's what the liaison does. That's that's fine. I can, I, you can do it both ways. I didn't know, know what it is. You know what exactly? Are well, technically, the liaison is. is not supposed to go throw a bomb in the middle of their. Uh, you know. No. No. <laughs> like like to say, I don't want. I don't think we should do this. But he can also he can also bring the information from us to them. Because yeah. we're commenting on on their meeting, I, I think we need to do that in writing through Danielle as right. a result right. of yeah. this that's, particular that's discussion right. that we're having. Yep. Yeah, they, no, they, we they should add absolutely. Any color to it, I can add color to it. But I, I, right. I mean, I know, I know my, yeah. I know where my fence is. I'm not gonna, you know. Right. No, you don't want to. You don't want to throw a bomb like Warren says. But no, yeah, no. To, to if if you need to to help them understand why we're saying this, that's fine. Yes, that's fine. But you we know, need to we need to communicate. Again, we, our initial communication to the board of appeals needs to be as a result of this discussion through Danielle right. through the board of appeals, so they get it in their packet, they read it. So at the day of the meeting, they can turn to you, Dave, and say, "What? What? You know, I don't. I don't explain this to me." And you can do yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, because this is nothing. I, I hope anyone that is, uh, you know, would later listen to these minutes or whatever understands this is not personal. This is just, I want to treat everybody in the town the same way when we see these applications. It just, I think it's just fair to the people of the town to provide more information when you're looking to go outside of the boundaries. You should provide more information so people understand exactly what you're doing. If well, I was the next door neighbor, I demand it, you know. But for the record, no, Dave, in all the years that we've asked for more information, we've never gotten any. <laughs> they, yeah. The meeting just happens and they just go their merry way. So, yeah. yeah. I, Let's I hope but it'll anyway, change. So, sorry. So that's it. You know, that's it. Okay. Well, no, that's uh, no, that, but that's the format. That's how we're going to do it. So let's decide what we want to say. We want to say not enough information. For lack and, of elevations. And, you know, there needs to be grading on the plan. Yes. Grading, did you say? Yeah. Grading, yeah. Yeah, I think that's good that Warren says that because of the proximity to the uh, to the septic, septic system. Yeah, yeah. Um, All of these things weigh into, you know, you go into it wanting to help people, but you need more information. Right. Because without and, that, uh, and, okay. So the, and the third thing would be elevations. Is yeah. That, would that be fair? Yeah. Third yeah. thing would be yes. elevations, so we can see what it look like. Because you know you see that little thing behind the house, yeah, that's an easy place to put a set of stairs in there mm. to that second floor. Anything else that you want to add to that to send off to the board of appeals on this one? No. Okay, all right. Well, I, that's that, that'll that's give start. Some you on, yeah. So uh, okay. Okay. Two tar box. This is interesting. Kind of the same kind of thing, a little bit, right? I mean, I think. Um, it's the backside he's violating. It's a fifty-foot setback from the rear. I yes. thought it was the other way. I thought it was the no. other way around. No, it's fifty in forty the in front and forty 50 in, in the back. front. Right, twenty-five on the side. Yeah. So when you look at it, there really is no real way to to get around that one for a garage, and and it's not oversized. But they want three garages. Yeah. You don't find. I mean, it you don't find. Pretty... It looks pretty straightforward when you and at first glance. Um, it looks like a like a hobby garage or something he's putting in or something. I don't know. Yeah, he probably wants to put his. his well, I'd say their tractor. He wants to keep the Bugatti in there so that he yeah, doesn't take exactly. it all the Exactly. <laughs> exactly. He he ain't cutting his own grass. He's no, no. I mean, I mean, driveway. that a lot of those houses up there came with three car garages, so that's, that's not correct. unusual. Not unusual to see somebody come ask for one. So. So is the is the request for setback relief on side or the back? back rear. I think. It just yeah, rear. they've okay. only got forty two point nine in the back, so they're seven point one short. Yeah. But who's behind them? And then you can look at the 
Yeah, they don't um, really show, but you can go aerial. Uh, guess, right? They all know, but there's a young lady in the middle of my screen that gave us an overview aerial and also gave us the parcel map. I did have time to do that this time. <laughs> <laughs> And, and it's not going to really affect anybody because it's all wooded behind them. Yeah. From the aerial map. Yeah, I, didn't really I, see, I didn't really see too much to complain about on this. However, um, I'd like to I, see an I elevation. Just want to reiterate, I, I'm sorry? I'd like to see an elevation. Yeah, well, I would, but I would just reiterate one thing that we, that we, that we seem to, that we have to keep talking about and that never really seems to uh, sink in for some reason. The idea behind the Board of Appeals is to alleviate a hardship. Right. And so the question is, the question we used to ask all the time, right, Chris? We used to ask- Yeah, where's the hardship? Hardship. <laughs> there is no hardship for either one of these. Yeah. Do they need and a you, garage? Warren, are you saying this is a first world problem? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a first world no, hardship. No, it's this, this, is, this is a North Reading world problem so we would ask all the time what's the hardship i am not, judging. Hardship? I am not judging i'm just like more joking yeah. sorry because i mean um, and, and if we talk to danielle there is no hardship for land uh for setbacks am i right danielle is that what it's no there can be but it, i mean they're really rare and it really has to be owing to some particular circumstance about that property it's yeah, not they have to build a handicap ramp to get somebody in and out of the house to, to be, there's a structure that may violate the setbacks but because it's a handicap ramp, it's okay. You know, that kind right. of I, I don't even know. I'm looking at Danielle's face. I don't know if that's actually always true, too. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's just really hard. Like, it's really, really hard to meet the hardship. And it's not, and it's not because you need the money or it's nothing to do with the person who owns the house. It's every property. It's like you have 10 houses in a zoning district on one street and one of them all of a sudden there's a cliff that falls off in the backyard that one house gets to build up a little bit because they can't have a back room like that's the that's the kind of situation that hardship yeah. means it's owing right. to the soil it's owing to something about the lot the lot is faulty somehow yeah yeah okay so this lot yeah. is not faulty so there is you know like you said Warren, <laughs> on all these hardship, things yeah. we should say where's the hardship even yeah. on the other one there is no real hardship to put a garage up there is no real, you know, for either one of these pieces of property. This one, I think, affects the neighbors less than the other does because it pulls it forward to the frontage of the lot. This one, you won't ever see that corner. Yeah. yeah. For, where, for where it's located for everybody well, else. Do you want to make, I mean, based on, based on that, do you want to, do you want to, you know, comment on this one or i mean just let it go i mean well i think we should, i think we should comment on it because we're going to comment on one we should comment on both of them because they're basically the same thing well this one's not quite the same because it's almost hidden you know the neighbors i didn't see it well that's true it is almost hidden but it's the same thing in the eyes of the law and it's also i don't i don't but i would but i do have a question on elevations i can't i, I see no elevation so i don't know if this yeah. is one story tall or five three right. stories right. tall or yeah, right contact. So yeah. you know, I put that I put that in there, and then uh, uh, we could put fail to see the hardship, you know, because I don't. Right. Yeah, sure. that's that's right. There is no hardship on any of these things. You know, mm -hmm. e even even the uh, the first one, but that's that's a different thing. Yeah. You know the electrical thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. With the. Well, the, that's the not a variance. That's, that's a, not a variance, um, right? That's, yeah. yeah. So they're probably gonna, the, the big problem we have right now with this, as best I can see, is that there's been there's too much precedent <laughs> in the past. And, and you hey, know, that, know, that's with know, another, but that's with another board totally. I, I know. And, that, and this board has the opportunity to stop it, uh, you know, make it right or, or to do it right if they, if they so desire. But, but, but they're gonna, but they're gonna be sitting there with these people in the farm that said, you know, I can give you 300 examples in the past 10 years. <laughs> and, um, and they're going to yep. be under a lot of pressure to, to do something yep. different. And this one, well, this one, because it's somewhat, somewhat, this one has had probably the least impact of any of the ones we've looked at. In a while, so, right? That's true. But that's why I'm saying, you know, you could put one, you know, one thing or two things is where's the hardship and where's the elevation. Yeah. yeah, what do the elevations look like? Because right? saying the elevation twice in a row mm -hmm. and hardship twice in a row makes them think about it. 
The yeah. elevation is really important. You don't know what this is going to look like. Yeah. What's the most second? Most towns do, most ZBAs do require an elevation. Elevations, they right. They have to build it to Danielle, plan. Danielle, how do you get that in the application requirements um, for ZBA that they have to provide? If they're, if they're building a structure that is like, if it's a fence, maybe you just need a site plan and maybe a image of what the fence is. But for a structure, you should show what the structure is. That's a good question. And I'm actually not sure whether it's in their own rules and regulations or if it's in our zoning. If it's in the zoning, we propose a zoning amendment, making that a requirement of application. Yeah, I would totally. suggest I mean, if we go that route, we would want to yeah. get them on board with it. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, I'll go I think we probably it. need to have a we, we probably need to have a short meeting with the uh, Board of Appeals. With the current yeah. board of appeals, and just 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 so that we, and and we should couch it in the terms of, we want to make sure we're all on the same page because we don't want to be yeah. sending yeah. stuff you don't want to hear, and we don't. And but what we do want to do is help you make good decisions. Right. And I think if we couch it in those terms, they'll be willing to meet with us, and we can kind of uh, put together an understanding among us so that we kind of work together to make this you know work the way it's supposed to. I agree. Well, we did we did get it on a on a uh, a level basis with the last zoning board after a while. Yeah, it took a while. Like ten years. <laughs> yeah. So let's so yeah. So let's uh, Danielle, let's put that kind of on our on you know the, the future agenda to do something like that. Yeah. I think it would be good for us, and it'd be good for them. Okay. So, so uh, what do you want to what do you want to say for this one, Warren? Um. Well, definitely, uh, I think what I already said was uh, elevations. I don't have any idea what the elevations are. Yeah, or how yeah. it's going to look, you know, what it looks like to the neighbors. And, but again, this one's a little hard to be pushy about because it is so well hidden. Mm -hmm. Oh, the house will be seen by the neighbor. The side Maybe of the house will be seen. Hardship question mark and leave it at, <laughs> leave it at that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Do you elevations. not want me to remark on the elevation then? No, no, no. No, 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 remark the yeah. elevation, but on the hardship, put a question mark next to it. Yeah. Don't, you know, just say one word with a question mark. Yeah. And I would do that on this, on the other one also, if that's okay with you, Mr. Pierce, yeah, on I the, suppose, uh, yeah. on yeah, Anthony yeah, Road yeah. too. So we should, uh, yeah, and let's, but let's, um, because if they come to us and say, listen, we, we you know, we're going to, we're, we're just, <laughs> the way we got this worked out, we're just going to try to help people. Uh, they can't afford to move, they need, so they want to expand their properties. And, 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 you know, <clears throat> personally, I know Dave will be mad at me for this, but uh, if, they're, <laughs> if they are building for an ADU, I, I, I mean, it's going to be, it'll be in an attached ADU, it'll fit within the confines as opposed to a detached ADU, so it would be something that would probably provide some additional housing for hopefully for a family member and so forth. And I, I, I you know, Warren, so I don't think he's against of, that. I think yeah, what he's against is the ruse, you know, you and, I, and I am also it, against the ruse. Somebody's saying, it's, I'm going to build a garage and suddenly you've got an yeah. apartment up above it. That's, you know? that's what exactly I'm saying, because again, the, you know, safety on, in town is under the impression it's a garage. Uh, nice. it, doesn't hit, it, it doesn't hit Deb's role. She's not aware it's an ADU. Um, yeah. It just goes around, it doesn't end around on all the town departments, and then you leave poor Jerry Noel fighting that fight, fight like that. Well, I think that we, I think it's a no, upon us. no tools, no legal backing, and yeah. the poor guy, you know, gets yeah. worn out trying to fight this fight alone because the other departments um, don't change oh, a zoning yeah. rule or something to make it so that um, all the towns work in unison. The, the fire and police want to know about these places when they happen um they want to be able to comment on where they want you know fires fire suppression if you know if that if applies at all if it's a you know apartment stuff they want to know about detectors access egress stuff that jerry handles but once it goes to life safety just like you do when you're building a house you have fire prevention come visit they do a walkthrough they point out where they want things none of that happens when it's just going to be a quote-unquote garage well, I, I agree, but it's, uh, I think it's, I think it would be easier for people to, quote, tell the truth um, if we had an ADU law that, that allowed them to do something like this and admit to it. Well, yes and no, Warren. If we do the, if we do the, the low-hanging fruit, as it's been called a, a few times, and just do the attached, 
then the people with the detach are just going to keep coming, you know, like they have been, you know, all these years. They're just going to keep building those garages and going but doing this, the this, end one's, this one's attached. So I get it, right. but you're, you know, what I'm saying is many of yeah. these are detached actually. And so they're, they're just going to keep doing the end around. I don't think know? there are that many detached ones, but there are, you know. Well, what uh, Jerry says is there's a bunch stuff that we don't know about. It's the pool house. It's more of the pool houses that are getting the, I think yeah, his well, C's complaining about. Those that were, it's been in existence for years, so. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's all. Like Chris said, it's the ruse. Just rather have it up yeah. front. Yeah. Yep. Well, let's do that for now. This for now, but let's also let's. Yeah, also we should meet with them. Yeah, yeah, we will meet with and, them, and we should really be able to. We should really try to give them an update on where we're headed with the uh, ADU situation too. That give them give them some to hold on to as well. You know. Yep, that's fine. You, know, that you know that we're trying. We're, we're trying to. You know, we're trying to solve some of this problem for them. So. What is it? I'm just interested because Jeremiah has been very quiet, but Jeremiah, do you have a comment on kind of what we're hashing around here? Uh, no, I mean, it, it all makes perfect sense. And I mean, we don't have enough information, so pushing back makes total sense. Um, yeah, I mean, you guys got it covered. I mean, <laughs> <you know, laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not Jeremiah is doing what I, Jeremiah is doing yeah, what I did the I, first year I was on, listening a lot. Yeah, I and I, I just didn't want to make sure. Like I'm, I'm speaking for me, not for everyone else. I just want to make sure everyone's heard. Yeah, they, they, you, did, you were kind of quiet the first year too, Dave, as I recall. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was part first of the two one years. That was, Give I, him a I was probably the one that was never quiet. <laughs> I was, I was quiet first two years. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, that's okay, you. But but you know you have to learn where the lines are with the market. Yeah. So, uh, There's no problem with it, and asking the question is always good too. Yep. So to make sure everybody's speaking. <laughs> hey, uh, Warren, you want to do that uh, that continuance in case someone's interested? Yeah, we can we can do that. Not to, not to get off the point. I mean, we're done no, with no, the ZBAs. Okay. Um, no, we're done. We're done. So Crestview, you mean? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Let me let me get to the motions. Bear with me one second. Here we go, Mr. Pierce. Mr. Hayden. I move that the Community Planning Commission vote to grant the requested continuance of the public hearing for 39 Chestnut Street and 9 Flint Street until Tuesday, November 16th. 2021 at 8 p.m. Second we have a motion. Do I have a second? Dave, did you no, second? I did. Okay. I right. did. Okay, all in favor, please say aye. Dave? Aye. Aye. Jeremiah? Aye. Christopher? Aye. And Warren is aye as well. All right, now you can okay. So that leaves us with only uh danielle the administrative updates okay so speaking <laughs> of adus tomorrow morning um i'll be meeting with the development team about that very issue um to get their initial feedback concerns i shared with them the model bylaw for massachusetts which has all the highlighted issues that different communities have considered and i'll hopefully have a good discussion with them about that report back and see where we go from there mm -hmm. Um, was approached by um, uh, Allison, who's the intern for the transcript just now, who's been covering some of the CPC meetings. Um, she is interested um, in interviewing me toward the end of the month about a couple of the town meeting warrant articles, one being the sewer, the other being um, the affordable housing questions. Um, for sewer, I've also suggested that you know we reach out to the DPW director and town administrator because it is more their project with us supporting it. But right. I told her I'd be happy to speak with her about it. Um, and the other was uh, where does the CPC intend to go following the um, affordable housing, uh, you know, the outcome at town meeting about those uh, properties. And um, I, I mean, I'll certainly be happy to you know talk to her about it. But I wanted to mention it to you in case anyone else felt that you know I didn't know if I ought to suggest including the CPC members too. Um, I didn't know how you felt about that. So I just wanted to bring it up. 
Well, we, we kind of all put our butts on the line there for in favor of the, of it, and they didn't, uh, the board, the select board didn't, you know, shot us down. Um, but we didn't back away, and, and I will point out the finance committee also supported us. Yes. And, and um, so, I mean, there is obviously some concern about uh, what happens, and, and, and one of the people at the very meeting got up and said, I don't, I think we should do something with this. I don't want to see this can kick down the road. And everybody said, well, what the next select board meeting will. And now what's happened is a can has been kicked down the road. Of course it has. So that's where we're at. So, so, I mean, that's, I mean, I mean, you know, it was a member of the public that brought this up. And so, um, and to, for them to tell them, yep, you're right. That's what happened. They kicked it down the, the can down the road. So there's, um, um, if that ends up in print, print someplace, I mean, I don't know. It's, uh, it's, it's just, <laughs> we just, we're just trying to, we're, the, you know, the point we're, we're I'm trying to make at the meeting is we, we passed this bylaw in 2008, this overlay district in 2008. It's 12 years later and we still can't get anything going. Right. And people keep asking us, what are we doing to fend off 40 Bs? We've yeah. tried. We, we don't get any support. Get one building. We can't even get Where the one neighbors home. support it. The neighbors support it, but they think it's better to go buy it to, because they don't have a process, which they could have done after the fact of town meeting release. Well, basically, uh, you know, the town meeting releasing it to the, to the, to the, uh, to the uh, select board, they then, they were then write the RFP. I mean, so they can put whatever they want in the RFP. That's right. That's right. It's got to be looked at by 17 different conservation people before we can, I mean, they can put all that in the RFP. Yeah. If they wanted to, but, but, but they kind of, uh, you know, they kind of said, no, we don't, we don't have enough information. You know, we want it. We want to set up a policy. Well, the policy is in the 2008 bylaw overlay. Yep. It well, sure is. is already there, and it's kind of pretty expansive when you read back on it. It allows for quite a bit more than we were asking for. So, so I don't, um, I don't understand why what they want at this point, and I don't think they, have, I don't think they know what they want either. Because um, I spoke with Bruce Tower about this a little bit because he was at the meeting and his, you know, and uh, he was I, disgusted I think, too because I was talking about. It. Yeah, I, I, I think that you know they got, they got scared about something that a bunch of people said oh no no don't don't do this don't do this well figure something out and i think they kind of folded they got scared uh, of this warren i don't know i think they folded you know uh, they you were know that, sure that, that one now. neighborhood that came out which is what 30 years old yeah it wasn't it wasn't wet back there until they built that neighborhood yeah there was water but it wasn't as what it is is now yeah well and, one of the problems and, back there was earl huppa let about four million gallons of water out of our water tower loosened out back there <laughs> He broke the water main and went away for the weekend. <laughs> there you go. What do you think was going to happen? <laughs> you didn't know that? Oh, that was, was that, was that the Hangarani development? Yeah, yeah. They were all yeah. The contract yeah. Was I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. wasn't here, but I remember you talking about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and for Never everybody to know. Since. <laughs> yeah. For, for, <laughs> since then, uh, I wasn't on the board at the time, but when the PUD was coming up, there was a yeah. geologist working on that for him. Yeah. That was my brother-in-law. Yeah. So I, I think that, you know, let, let's, you know, let's kind of, you know, let, let's just tell them a straight story about what happened here and see if we can get some support from the, from the public when we go back again. Cause I don't, we don't give up, you know, we just keep going. So. Right. I mean, for my part, I can imagine doing an interview where I answer questions in a factual way and say mm -hmm. along the lines of what I said at town meeting. But in mm -hmm. terms of if you are interested in a stronger piece of advocacy whereby you are conveying the kinds of opinions that you are now discussing, I was wondering if it would be important for me to suggest that she also speak with you. I don't know. Okay. I just wanted to bring it up. I told you when they when they when the select board told us that we were going to pass it over. I told you that I was going to support it at town meeting through the entire thing, and I did not waver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so I still am not wavering, and I will still support it to whoever I wanted that wants to speak with me about. It. Okay. Okay. I mean, I think it's that you know, there's a lot of people that realize. I mean, this this, this you know, for the people that are trying to bring a 40B in, and. Um, I mean, this is this is fodder for them. They can say, you know, these people aren't interested. Look at that; they voted against any. I wouldn't put. 
they did, but they went to town meeting and the select board voted against any uh, any affordable housing. They don't want affordable right. housing. You know, it, it's, it's a black mark against us. That's right. So That's I, right. I, then know, there'll we, be one. We, there'll be one coming within six to eight months. I'll bet you. Yeah. So we didn't. We they didn't. We didn't get the chance to prove that we're friendly to affordable housing. You know, which we couldn't. No, done. we did not. We couldn't. We did not. not. And we didn't. And it didn't. Wasn't going to hurt anybody. What I mean. What who's single family hurt. homes built to the proper size in a neighborhood, and they would have enjoyed the people. The the the, we, we, the scaling back of it that Danielle did to scale it back based on the input from the neighborhoods. I mean, they couldn't ask for anything better than that. No, I know. I don't know why they didn't understand that. So, but yeah, no. She, if they, they wanted to talk to me, I'm I'm game. Um, I'm, I don't I just, you know, I still support what we did in 2008, and I still support the fact that this is something that, as a community, we have a responsibility to give a little back. We can do that. Yep. So. Okay. And it doesn't hurt anybody. It helps everybody. It helps people, yeah. So, geez, let's you know, let's let's what are, what are we doing? So, all right. Uh, uh, anything else, Danielle? Yeah. The only thing I had left was um, I, David gave me some feedback on the abacus presentation. I didn't know if anyone else had anything uh, to add as abacus works to kind of refine that. The ultimate goal would be a presentation that we can give to you know the select board at a community meeting, what have you. Um, mm -hmm. I just didn't know if anyone else had anything more, any other input. No, I think they did a pretty good job of, of, of touching on all the things that, you know, because I know they, they added that marketplace in which they didn't have originally, but, you know, and, and I was really glad to see that because I think that's a selling point uh, that people could get behind. Mm -hmm. So, um, so no, I think they, uh, uh, you know, I think they did okay. Yeah, okay. 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 I, I have a question. Um, God, the name of the subdivision slips my mind now. Right on Mar uh, on Marblehead Street, Danielle, the town put a um, sidewalk into it, and they created a forty B for us with an oh, uh, the Bradford Pond Estate subdivision. Yeah, yeah. So that that house that was the forty B right off of Marblehead Street, I think it's for sale. I will find yeah. out. Okay, yeah, I my, saw it for sale right across the street from me. Is that is that okay. the forty B one, Jeremiah? Uh, so, I don't know if I don't know if it's the forty one B, but I know that it's across the street from me, so I know. Uh, yeah. how to talk about it. it's right on the Bradford Pond. Right. So that's right. one fifty three Marblehead, the uh, gray house that's set back. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, it's set way back. Yeah. I will find out. Um, they are allowed to sell, but they have to sell it to another eligible buyer, and they need right. And they can only make ten percent so. on the on the sale, right? Is that what it is? Um. So. They can make a profit that is discounted, and they there's a, there's only a certain amount that they are allowed to right. have gained from the house. Um, right. I don't know the formula, but yeah, I, I'll find it. All right, and just we, just to help educate me a little bit, especially since it's my neighbor, um, what, what's that all about? Uh, the forty B. I mean, because it's a nice house. Um, well, from the outside, it's supposed to look just like what they built. In the Bradford basically, Estates. Yeah, basically what it is, Jeremiah, is it's a it's a it's an affordable house, you know, based on median income and all that. Um, and they and so people are allowed to buy it at a reduced rate. Um, build the basically the builders when they build these, they don't make a dime on them. They basically it's a it's just cost plus. And then um, and um, it provides a, a level of affordable housing. And we can okay. still always yeah, has always the, the, the state has always, from, from I don't know, even from many years back, I don't know if Chris might remember how, when they first started this, but um, they wanted every 10% of everything, of, of all of our subdivisions to be affordable. Yeah, so, they did. And so we, when we have, I don't think we've ever made 10%, but uh, <laughs> of no. affordable, but, but, that, but, but this was the one that they gave. Uh, gave us as an affordable unit. And we took it. I mean, with that, one's better than none. And so we took it. Exactly. So, so then there are, as, as Danielle said, there are rules about transferring the ownership of that property. They're not allowed to take it. Then they're not allowed to buy in for next for, for a, at an affordable rate based on their income, and then make a big profit on it. So, and then, and again, it does have to go to another qualified buyer. 
So, but they have that might be a um, different property than the one I'm thinking. It, of. it may it may not be the one. That's correct, Jeremiah. I'm not quite sure. I just was driving by there today and saw it, and it was in the right location. So we've got to just verify that. It's 153, is what you're saying, Danielle? Yeah, 153. Um, it's it's a gray house. I'll find it's, out. On the, it's on What's the that? pond side. It's a gray house. Yeah, it's, it's gray. On the, it, it's like it's on the 145. Pond side. That's, that's 145. 145 mark. Yeah, 153 is the other one that clearly was done around the same time because they're both kind of behind the two houses that are actually on Marble Hood, which are older houses. Marble Hood, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. So, so maybe it's the other house. Directly on Bradford Pond. Um, it's just funny to hear the 40 Peak because it's a nice house. <laughs> so it's a, a really nice stuff. house. Yeah. It's a, and it's unusual. It's nice that we were able to get that. <laughs> It's unusual to have a beautiful three bedroom house that is affordable, you know, has any kind of subsidy. So, but if they do sell it, I mean, they have to give the town notice. Pretty nice oh, cars going in and out of there. So, I don't know. <laughs> What's that? Pretty nice cars going in and out of there. So, yeah. Well, I've know, seen uh, some nice cars over here at 40 B's too. And, and, uh, yeah. when you're, when you're doing 80, what is it, 70% of, mean or 80 percent of mean that it's one is 80 percent of area yeah 80 percent of mean in in this in massachusetts or this area of massachusetts it's a lot of money it's like a hundred grand a year so well it's it's a little less than that but it depends on the family size and yeah, yeah right, right. you know and also you can buy the house when you are income qualified and then you may later on make more money or you That's may marry right. someone who does and you're allowed to continue building your assets, but you can never get the same equity in your home that you could have gotten if it wasn't subsidized because you bought right. it at such a discount. So right. yeah. we'll just, well, we'll we were just wondering why it was still for sale for that probably. Well, no, it, they, they come for sale occasionally. It was just, I, whenever I see one and I think it's a 40B, I like to check to make sure they're selling it the proper way not going yeah. under the wire because there's not a lot stopping them mm -hmm. other than well, town deed agencies. restriction and deed the restriction city. yeah i mean but you know how that can work too you know unfortunately yeah <laughs> I'll, I'll check into it. we hope everybody's paying attention that's the plan that's right that's right all so, righty is that that all you got there daniel you all set Okay. Warren, no, if you something. have time this week, can you stop by the office and sign something? Sure, I will. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, is that your TV, Debbie? Yeah, I think oh, that's so Debbie's TV. <laughs> that would be my TV, yep. <laughs> She's watching okay. the news, I think. <laughs> I'm watching the, <laughs> I was watching the race. Okay. Oh, okay. I? Yeah. Okay, oh, so right. uh, thank you all very much for coming tonight, and uh, I think we've made some headway here tonight. We'll, uh, we'll, uh, and and thank you, Danielle, for going through uh, that that Shea Lane stuff and getting them here, so that we could uh, come up with a, yeah. a real yeah. solution for the people. Those people. I mean, I think they'll see something happen now, and they'll know that we took took notice and did something, and, and that's a good thing. So. Yeah. 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 Good job. Got to be yep. frustrating for our neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Good. Great. Okay, thank you all very thank much. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thanks. Good morning,